This is how we do dialysis. Meet Tony oh. Snyder. This catheter is a straight shot to my heart. For five hours a day, he plugs into a machine that filters his blood. Come back through and it's going to come back into me. Six days a week. Right now it's starting to shut down. He relies on a machine to do what his body can no longer do. I have polycystic kidney disease, which is your kidneys have cysts all over them. Gradually over time, as more cysts grow and they get bigger, it ends up shutting your kidneys down. My dad had polycystic kidney disease and had a transplant in his late 40s, early 50s. It goes back to his mother having a stroke, which they assume was tied into polycystic kidney disease. If you go back to like the family cemetery back in Okano, you'll notice that a lot of the Snyder family died at a young age. And so then that makes you wonder, is it because of the kidney disease? My older sister and older brother have both been diagnosed with it. My two younger sisters have gone through the blood work for donation and they weren't diagnosed with it, but they have a lower kidney function than a normal person. Nothing to be afraid of, but not enough kidney function to give one up. Most of the patients we see actually are in their 40s, 50s, or 60s uh, when they start to get the diagnosis. And the kidney becomes very cystic. It can become very large, as big as uh, footballs, uh, with these large cysts, uh, which can get infected or they can bleed. But as the cysts grow, the, the kidney itself becomes smaller and smaller, and, and the renal function of the kidney deteriorates until ultimately they need dialysis. Mm -hmm. Tony's father was able to find a living kidney donor in his sister. Since Tony does not have the same option, he is required to remain on dialysis until a match comes through on the National Donor Registry. Five hours a day. Okay, so now we're going to rinse his blood back. Six days a week. Why me? Why am I getting stuck with all of this? Other people are just running around, you know, they complain about a headache. And I'm just like, you have nothing to complain about. I would love to have a headache. One day, I was just like, it's been two and a half years. I am so sick and tired of doing this every day. I want it, I want my life back. And so, just thought I'd throw it out there and put a post on Facebook. Hey, uh, if anybody's interested in uh, giving, you know, a kidney away and would happen to have type A blood, I can sure use one. I got lots of responses like, sorry to hear about that, you know, wish I could help. I would, but I'm type B blood. Remarkably, in addition to the well wishes and offers of support, Tony had found some possible donors. I was scrolling through Facebook just an ordinary day, and he said, I need a kidney. Anybody interested? <laughs> Out of those, you know, five or six, there was one. When my fiance got home, I would talk to him, said, what do you think? Is this something you would, you know, be willing to, to help me with? And absolutely. Then she went on and took the next, the next step. I didn't tell my children um, or my parents until I found out that I was a match. This is a person I worked with a couple days a week, maybe, that, you know, we talked, we knew each other's names, but other than that, you know, we didn't, like I said, we didn't have each other's phone numbers, you know, friends on Facebook. In 
In the middle of the Nebraska Sandhills, Tony Snyder tossed his fate onto a social media site, and a woman he barely knew answered. Her name is Sunshine, which, I mean, how fitting is that, you know? That's for most people's first reaction, what's your real name? <laughs> it's, it's unique, it is, but I guess it fits and I like it. She's the sunshine of my life, right there. I mean, her parents had to have known when they named her that she was, what she was bound and destined for. It would seem that Sunshine's gift of selflessness knows no end. I have four kids, personally, um, between um, me and my fiance, however, we have nine. We have three boys and um, six girls, um, ranging from kindergarten up until we have three eighth graders. It took a while to sink in and, you know, just to lay there and, you know, lay there in my bed one night and I just started thinking, it's like, wow, this is somebody who is putting their life on the line for me. What do you say? There's nothing that I could come up with other than thank you. Almost nine months after putting his plea out on Facebook, Transplant Day finally arrived. Snyder. At first I was a little nervous because it's all like kind of hit home that this is really happening. I worried for her. I've been through lots of surgeries, so it's not no big deal to me. I just wanted to make sure that she was okay doing this. Tony's so laid back that that kind of just blows off on you too. You're like, oh, if he can act cool, I can act cool. <laughs> I don't know how cool I was on the inside, but I was sure trying on the outside. Prior to surgery, Tony had one last opportunity to say thank you to the woman who was saving his life. That was pretty emotional. It was just kind of a, just to see him laying there, you know, and just the anticipation for the surgery to be finally here. Yeah. Well, take good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. Appreciate it going to it's quite emotional just seeing him and, and having everything kind of hit home. Three months after the transplant, Tony was able to be there for Sunshine on her big day. The really cool part about that is Tony is marrying us. I didn't believe that you could become an ordained minister off the internet. And so one day, I was playing around on the internet, which seems to work for me, um, I found a website and filled it out, sent in the money, and bam, I'm an ordained minister. I, I couldn't think of anybody better to stand up there and do that for us. How could I say no? You know, you give me a kidney, I perform a marriage ceremony. Not even close, but let's do it. Sunshine pretty much saved my life. He gave me my life back by giving me a kidney. And this is just a small way that I can repay her. I am proud to say this is the new Mr. and Mrs. Solis.